All right, here we have an all new update received on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Of course, this is the security patch for July 2021. And surprisingly, this is huge. This is about one GB plus update that we have received here. As you can see in the change log, there is nothing specifically mentioned whatsoever about the new features. So it just talks about the security of the device and the rest of the standard points are mentioned here. Looking at the size, I was actually expecting there could be some new features added with this update, but it doesn't look like we have got anything over here. However, I did learn that there is this QR code recognition feature which has been integrated into the camera application. When you open the camera and point at a particular QR code, it is going to automatically recognize it. I don't really remember whether this feature was there before on uh, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's camera application. This particular feature was anyways there on Bixby Vision, but I'm not sure whether it's been directly integrated into the camera application or not. If you guys have not updated your phone yet, open the camera application, point at any QR code and see whether it is recognizing the QR code or not. And uh, once you update it, again, you can check that. And if it is recognizing it, that should be the new feature which has been added on the phone. For some reason, I don't really remember whether it was recognizing before the update. I have already updated it. And then I learned that this is a new feature which has been added on Samsung's camera application. Actually, this feature is already there even on Note 9, which is running on One UI 2.5. Anyways, now apart from this, I don't really see any changes on the phone. It is running smoothly. I hope that the battery life would improve with this particular update. If Samsung could improve it with this update, it would be just amazing because the battery life on Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has not been that great. I still get about four to four and a half hours screen on time on 120 Hz display and on power saving mode is just about five hours to five and a half hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm again going to test the battery since I have already updated this device. I will check the real life battery test results and I will share it with you guys in the future video. So stay tuned for that. Now, if you have not received this update, go ahead, go to the settings, go to software section and tap on download software to manually update it. Once you update it, if you find any new features on the device, do share it in the comment section below. That would definitely help the community. And if you're new on the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button to become a part of Apex community to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, Android applications, and anything related to technology. That's all I have here in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.